another episode of the Drawing Science Club. I'm your host, Brenda, and today we're going to be learning about dinosaur fossils. What is a fossil? How do they form? And what are the types of fossils? For this activity, you're going to need some Play-Doh or clay, some dinosaur toys and figures, some toothpicks or wood sticks that you can use to build a dinosaur skeleton model, and some leaves, wheel or fake that you can use to make impressions. Alright, let's get started. Here we are up close and we're going to be learning about the types of fossils that you can find in the world. There are basically four main types of fossils that you'll see in the world today and each of them have a distinct benefit to scientists and a distinct appearance. So the first kind of fossil that we're going to be making today is what's known as a trace fossil. So a trace fossil is something that an animal leaves behind. When I press this with my thumb, you get up close and we take a look at this, you can see that my thumbprint is left inside this bit of clay. This is a trace fossil if it would harden and become preserved for people to find millions of years from now. So one type of fossil that you'll see often that's a trace fossil is footprints from a dinosaur. Footprints tell scientists what path the dinosaur took, where they were going, maybe where they were coming from, and also a little bit about the dinosaur itself. Another type of fossil is a mold fossil. This is a fossil that the item, say it's a dinosaur, is engulfed in the item, in the sediment. The dinosaur is engulfed in the sediment, like this, and just gets wrapped up in it. And often it is imperfect like that. Then over millions of years, the dinosaur itself decomposes and is no longer part of the sediment, but it leaves a hollow behind. So inside of this piece of sediment, you can see the fossil of the dinosaur. It's kind of preserved in the, the size and shape that the dinosaur was. And this tells scientists a lot about what size dinosaurs were and where they lived and kind of a bit about like their general body structure. If you're really lucky, scientists will get what is known as a body fossil. And that's a fossil where the actual body of the dinosaur is still inside of there. So they break it open and the body is fully preserved. That doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's a big happy news. The last main type of fossil is what's known as a cast fossil. So it will be like if a hollow fossil got filled up with another material and hardened. So let's say that this seed made a body fossil and then over time the soil gets compressed and remineralized and broken down and somehow the, the shape of the seed got preserved and it got filled up with sediment and then scientists are paleontologists digging this out and they find the fossil. Now what they find is the cast skeleton. So it's not the bones, it's like the impression of bones left behind. So this wouldn't be the seed anymore, it would be a cast of the seed. It would show, it would tell scientists about what the bones look like, what the shapes look like. And often you'll find casts of skeletons. So if you take your little stickies here, you can mimic that. So say that these were originally dinosaur bones, then they get kind of scattered into your sediment layer like this, and over time they're compressed and the bones break down, but the hollows fill up with sediment and different types of materials like limestone, something that preserves the shape of the bones. So when scientists do excavation, they uncover these cast molds of skeletons that are actually pretty much just rock, but they tell us a lot about the original skeletons because they still have some of that DNA inside of them. And based on that peripheral information combined with the shape and area in which the fossils are found, you can learn quite a bit about dinosaurs from a cast mold. Go ahead and experiment with making whatever type of 
fossil you want and see which one you think would tell the most information about a prehistoric dinosaur.